Det här är er Herbrand på Eisdale en slaved. Stay metal. Here at Avrin Plaza, where Enslaved has arrived, brought with them their amazing blend of heavy metal. Man, how are you guys? Good, thank you. Very good. Nice to be back in New York. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> Everything smooth so far today? Uh, yeah, kind of. Very smooth. The tour has been very good, very smooth. Uh, three very nice bands, different bands, traveling together, having lots of fun, playing music. <laughs> It's kind of a headbanger's dream to have the amazing bands that are playing together tonight, right? Yeah. As you said, the tour has been amazing so far, and all the bands go really good together. We party together, we laugh together, and yeah, it's been great. And so you guys party a lot? No, sometimes. <laughs> Is that what you're drinking coffee right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta drink some coffee and coke in between here. Yeah. Every cycle I know is different, especially from when you started to today. What are some of the main differences that you guys notice uh, as a band every time you go out like, on a different tour cycle from when you started to today? What are the big differences out there? I mean, I think we get better and better because we like, like you said, we've done this a lot of time now and we always try to like uh, challenge ourselves with and play new songs. So. For example, this is our second US tour on the last album, so we changed some of the songs, play other songs from the album that people request and stuff. So, yeah, we try to keep it interesting that way. And yeah, and we always like go through the shows after each tour and evaluate what can we do better and and so on. So yeah. it's not like just a routine that okay, we go on tour and do all all do it the same all over again. So. Yeah, hopefully we get better and better and uh, meet new people. Hoping we can create some new fans that have, haven't seen us before. Uh, that's always a goal, especially when like doing support tours. Uh, so maybe some Mono Mart fans can think, wow, it's slave, that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Is it harder to be a supporting band or to headline your own shows as far as like getting ready and you know physically, mentally? No, not really. It's the same, I guess to get ready for stage it's always the same but of course it's shorter so <laughs> and especially for us we have like long songs so 35 minutes is like six songs <laughs> and then we had to do some of the shorter ones as well <laughs> so it's not hard getting ready but it's hard like to get off because you're starting to get into it and then like okay that's it <laughs> And it's obviously challenging to have to pick the songs that fit into that particular set. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and we have long songs, so we could have played like three, <laughs> but that would have been stupid. So we chose six, and I think the, it's a, like a good blend of old and new enslaved. Some new songs, some old songs, yeah. And which are some of the new songs that you guys are playing this time around? Uh, this tour, first time Death in the Eyes of Dawn. Uh, our starter, actually. Uh, that's the first time we ever played uh, before this tour. Uh, apart from that, from uh, the Retear album is Retear, and that's it. <laughs> and that's about half the set yeah, in time. Half, half the set, so yeah. And I gotta ask you, man. I was your tour with Amon Amor, who are from Sweden. What do we say are the main differences between the Swedish people and the Norwegian people? Oh, they're pretty much the same, actually, I guess. Yeah, I think we're not that different, kind of. But well, the metal's very different. We make yeah. jokes in Norway that the Swedish people are more stupid than we are and not as intelligent, but they do the same to us. So. Maybe like <laughs> US and Canadians, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, now we're very similar, laugh, laughing at the same jokes, uh, understand each, each other's language. Uh, Basically much the same, but the music is a little bit different as you did. I don't know why actually, but I, I guess it just started like in different ways and just developed like differently, I guess. 
And what are some of the biggest challenges you guys have faced as a Norwegian band, especially when you were starting out trying to prove the world that, you know, Norwegian metal is strong? And not just, you know, for like the underground, but also, you know, going somewhat mainstream. We don't think too much about those kind of things. I mean, we were a band that loved what we do. We loved the music that we do. And so we just tried to spread the word of our music and, and the band. So it's like, we don't think uh, that we are Norwegians going on tour and kind of... But I think maybe Norwegian metal is a bit different than like Swedish metal and American metal. So that's like an advantage, I think, because it's different and we are different from like American bands. Uh, so maybe that makes it actually easier for us to go outside Norway. And we play like mostly outside Norway, doing some shows in Norway, but more shows, definitely more shows in the US and uh, other places in Europe than Norway. And that's cool, I think, because obviously when you guys started out, you know how hard it was to even cross the, the border into Germany to play. Now you can pretty much travel everywhere. And But I think it's because of the quality of the music and the musicianship and the mentality that you guys possess that is kind of like, okay, we're not here as an Norwegian band. We're here as slave, a metal band, and whatever people want to think, it's cool. Yeah, I think... As he said, like uh, we focus on the music and we make the music that we want to make, and hopefully um, other people likes that too. So I think people who come to the show comes because they love enslaved and love our music, not because we are a Norwegian black metal band. I think that was more like Mine is. 15 years ago or something. <laughs> then we were all oh, new Norwegian band. We gotta check it out because then everything from Norway was like cool and good and stuff. So. It was hip. Yeah. <laughs> hip in a very strange way. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, metal has always been pretty big in Norway. Like, accepted. Not accepted. That's more like lately, I think, in the press and everything. Because in the beginning, it was all about the well, bad side of the... Yeah, like, man, the church burning or the scandals and stuff. They were not paying that much attention to the music because they didn't understand it. And so I think they were... Just thought of all the guys who played in metal bands as like kids who wanted to make scandals and stuff and didn't take the music so seriously. So that's more like the last 10 years that uh, Norwegian journalists and stuff have really can see that this is bands who's giving out albums every now and then and are like really serious musicians and spend a lot of time like writing good music and not. So it's not about the makeup or Satanism and all that. Yeah, now you see the Norwegian Grammys almost always having a metal band represented there. You know, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, absolutely. And I think, uh, like, the main, like, journalists and music uh, magazines and papers and stuff are last 10, 10, 10 years, I guess, starting to write, taking the music more seriously. As opposed to like just the scandals and the uh, yeah other stuff around surrounding it in the in the beginning uh, but there are a lots of metal bands from Norway that plays in Norway and out of Norway so that's pretty considering it's like almost five million people in Norway living there in total, I think there's a lots of metal bands playing outside Norway <laughs> compared to like the population. And at the beginning, when I mean, obviously, when you were starting out, you said it was all about the scandals, all about you know the crazy things that were going on. So obviously, a lot of doors were closed. Did you guys get denied to play certain gigs or certain types of shows because of the reputation of other bands, not you guys, but other bands in the circle? That you can remember. I mean, uh, me and him didn't. Uh, we weren't in the band from the start of, but. I remember when I started in the band, there was still like some people coming to the show, like wearing makeup, were real like metal and Satan and all that stuff. And but over the years, I think uh, yeah, they, those guys just gave up and slave because I mean we were playing more like prog, extreme metal, so I think they didn't understand what it was all about. Kind of. So now there's, I think basically. People who come to our shows like love what we do and have been faithful to the band and like that we do what we want and experiment with a lot of different styles and genres in our music. 
Right, and I think it's because you guys are doing your homework, you know, from the moment I imagine you spend time in pre-production, writing the songs, and you say when you get back from tour, you see what went right, what went wrong, so that way you can keep doing it better. So you take it seriously, and I think that's the key for anybody watching who maybe is starting in a band. It doesn't matter where you're from. It really comes down to the sacrifice, the dedication that you put to do this. You yeah, know? you have to sacrifice a lot, actually, <laughs> like for doing this, but you gain a lot as well. You got to travel the world, uh, meet lots of nice people, uh, see places, do stuff that you would never dream about for when you were a kid, uh, all because of music. And yeah, that's that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> so you guys like cognac? Oh yeah, very, very, very much. <laughs> Which brands, anything in particular? Uh, here in the States, it's always Hennessy. Uh, but we kind of like all cognac, but here we get Hennessy all the time, so started like that one. <laughs> but no hangovers, right? Never, never. <laughs> you gotta do it the next day again. But hey, anything else you guys want to say to the fans right now watching, man? No, we really appreciate all the fans coming to our show, making every show special. Uh, that's why we're here, to play for the guys and the girls actually that's that's for coming there uh, most guys but some girls too that's good uh, you are the guys who makes this worthwhile and why we are doing this anything you want to tell to the girls watching <laughs> come and watch us because we are fucking great <laughs> Thank you, brothers. Have a great show tonight, man, and a great Thank tour. You. you know, say travels and a lot of success for years to come, man. Thank you. Cool.